Well, good morning, folks. I don't know if it's morning for you, but it is for me. I am sitting here going over my Daiwa Ryogas. If you're a subscriber to Captain Dave's Sport Fishing YouTube channel, where we do charter fishing here in Jacksonville, Florida, and so much more, I wanted to... Uh, just do a little lube here of my, this is my topwater rod. I've been throwing big topwaters on. Not that I've been catching much lately here in the dead of winter. But, either way, I wanted to just pass on what I will be testing. My neighbor has been talking for years about this stuff here called strike hold cleaner lubricant protectant for all metals made in america this is a sample bottle corrosion inhibitor i'll put the link below in the video description and in a pinned comment a pinned comment is a comment that i make on my own youtube channel and it'll have the little pin symbols next to it uh, so you can look at it there also as you know I like to do as much pass on information as possible so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna be testing this strike hold on my Daiwa Ryogas. These are my prized possessions. This is what I use. And of course, they're the older models. But my neighbor has been talking about this stuff called Strike Hold for years. And he saw this guy who was at a boat show or something here in Jacksonville. And the owner was there and he was showing the Strike Hold. To make a long story short, you'd have to see some of the videos on this. Cleaner, lubricant, and a protectant for all metals. Well, here's what the guy does. He takes this, sprays it inside a drill motor. Just sprays it right inside where the, like, the windings are. Doesn't take it apart, just in the slots on the side. Sprays this, throws the whole thing in a big tub of water, and pulls the trigger and the drill works it runs underwater then he pulls it out pulls the trigger and the water goes shooting everywhere pretty amazing the other amazing thing is you know it's one of the things where you know is it too good to be true uh, another one is is he sprays the bottom of a light bulb sticks it in a socket plugged into the wall sticks the light bulb in a tub of water and turns it on no electricity zapping him for whatever reason because of strike hold uh let's see i think he even takes the light bulb out of the socket plugs it in turn spins it in turns it on and it runs underwater now how long is it going to do that i don't know he also does the old pb blaster trick basically where he takes say, a cup of water like this okay but styrofoam to indicate, you know, styrofoam being kind of like rust and corrosion. And he sprays WD-40 and stuff, and it just lays on top of the water in a, in a styrofoam cup. He sprays strike hold in the same cup with the WD-40. It goes straight to the bottom and eats the entire bottom of the, the styrofoam cup. You have to see it for yourself. My neighbor gave me this bottle and says, spray your entire Suzuki under the cowling. You will be literally amazed. Well, I won't see the serious benefits of that, I'm sure. You know, I'm not going to be taking my cover off and looking at it all the time. The best way for me to be able to really put this to the test, I'd like to do it on the gear case, and I may do that in the future. But as of right now, I don't feel like taking this completely apart. I mean, it's not a big deal, but it is sort of a big deal. But what I'm doing, is he, and he claims that strike hold 
does is not going to hurt any plastics or any other synthetics or anything like that. What I'm doing, since I'm in here kind of lubing this reel up just a little bit on the level wind and the bearings, there's a bearing here on the end, on the end plate. And of course, there's a bearing right there on the spool. <clears throat> I'm putting oil on that. But what I'm doing is I'm taking the interior of the reel here, where the level wind is, and I'm cleaning it up. I'm getting a little bit of the grime off. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the strike hold, and I'm going to saturate, give this all a spray in here. And then I'm going to be able to see physically after doing a bunch of fishing. I'm going to do this on four Ryogas. Then I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to take the spool out and I'm going to look in here and see if there's any dirt buildup or anything like that. That is the best way for me to, to kind of check it. But I'm going to leave the link to this. This is not a sponsored thing. It's nothing. It's my neighbor gave me this test bottle. And if this stuff is that great, if it's that revolutionary, my question was, why is it out and not in retail markets? So I'm just passing this on. I'm going to test it. And maybe if somebody else ever got some, let me know. Let me know in the you know, by emailing me or something, I'm into stuff that's going to save high dollar equipment. And this right here, it's irreplaceable for me. All of my Ryogas. So I'm going to give it a shot and see how it works. With all that said, here's a little fishing bonus footage for you. We're on. And a common hole. Eh, it's probably not a keeper. Oh, hell yeah. It's a keeper. Second drift. Out playing around today, again, on a beautiful sunny winter day. And you know what? You're missing it. Another in the community hall. There we go. This is the reason why I'm sort of even out here. See that right there? That's a little 5 8 ounce gotcha plug with a trimmed bucktail single hook. Yellow, yellow and chrome. And I'm telling you, I have whacked the trout on these like no tomorrow. Now granted, it was under certain circumstances when the current was running and I was fishing real tight to pilings. And all we did was pitch this out, let it sit in the current and twitch it. And they were hammering it like it was their last meal. I'm not in the same spot. That's the problem. I'm not, the spot that I did that on was many 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 miles away and it is really cold and I didn't want to make that run so I'm down here at the nearest bridge with some pilings and stuff and the tide is falling so I wanted to try it this is referred to as a pier bait I've got a collection of antique pier baits so Let's see if I can do anything here with this. If not, float rig and live shrimp. I know you're looking into the sun, but third cast with it. It's a trout. All right. 
I always get the ones with the bucktail and the single hook, and that's a tube, right? And I take this, my good old Procure bait scent, whenever I can, I try to use this on lures, and I fill that tube. Needless to say, with a treble hook up front and a single hook in the back, you really catch them with this. <laughs> Feed them metal. I love metal. Boy, was that short-lived. God, the current. I wake up in a cold sweat sometimes, you know, thinking about current. Too much current. No, I'm only kidding. I wake up sometimes wishing I was a Gulf Coast angler. Boy, what a sandbagger. Got to be a flounder. Yeah, nice flounder. Oh, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Stay on. Oh, yeah. Serious sandbag. If you don't know what a sandbag is, sandbag is you feel bump, bump and you lift up and they go, mm -mm. you lift up and it goes, mm -mm. so nice flounder. Woo, I didn't think he was going to stay on there for a second. So that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Come on. Will you look at the size of this god dang pinfish? That's not the biggest one I've ever caught. That is not the biggest pinner that I've ever caught. I've caught bigger than that. Rock, paper, scissors.